I'm gonna just I'm gonna ask production. You guys are all doubting the Yopage mid. Uh, just prediction, King. <laughs> yeah, you can repeat that. Go ahead. Like our, our production is just a bunch of funny people, but you can say it, Vika. Uh, I've been told if uh, what if Neon wins, I, I have to be here at 6 a.m. on Saturday. On we'll, Saturday. Yeah. Okay. For the tiebreakers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm still on Neon. <laughs> my, my prediction king, I'm okay with that. Because, you know, if Neon wins, then we have a tie for the first place, and we have uh, one, two, uh, three teams uh, tied for the third place. So it's going to be fun. A lot of, uh, a lot of best Dota. of ones. Possibly endless. Everybody loves endless Dota. I don't know what you guys are so afraid of dota that never ends it's like when you used to go on a trip and you're on the bus and everybody would sing this is the song that never ends because it never ends and it's amazing and it just keeps going this yeah this is the song that never ends i don't remember anything oh that. i thought it was just you know just keep repeating it no there's a little bit more than that that i just don't remember it's like a 10 hour loop on youtube yeah you can probably find it can't there's wait to listen to it just kidding. A quick pause. Car pauses the game, but uh, yeah, let's talk about uh, some of the matchups. Uh, there is Dragonite on the top lane, paired up with the Phoenix against Nyx Assassin and Troll. Uh, they should struggle first couple of levels, but once Dragonite gets like a level three, then there isn't too much harassment because of the Dragon Blood. Nyx Assassin really not is not a strong laner. He shines after he gets the levels as well. And remember. He doesn't have break mechanic anymore on that level 6, so it's not that great against the Dragonite. Got nerfed, his ulti also got uh, increased cooldown by 10 seconds per level. Kind of, kind of a big deal as well. 10 seconds doesn't seem much, but when you need to make a move, like right here, right now, it's on cooldown. They're like, man, I wish I was playing the old patch. Yeah, next Assassin. It's, uh, he, he, what, he's good for a couple weeks and all of a sudden he has to get nerfed pretty hard. He's still getting picked, but that, that is a, a hefty nerf for him. It's just not right. Taking a look over mid, 7-0 and to 6-0. and So Yopaj keeping up. I used to uh, see him play this, and it was always exciting. Get that extra damage. I, back, I think back then it was, it was more damage on the talent. You'd go like Crystal is first. It was pretty exciting to watch, honestly. Oh, Back when Crystalis was the most OP item in Dota, when it was being built on mid spirits, you just got big crit, uh, a lot of damage, some pressure on the Dragonite on top. But as I said, like you can still feel how much they can put uh, damage onto him. One point in Dragon Blood, three year armor, four extra HP region. It's kind of tough. He's also bringing a Bracer and the Soul Ring, so he's gonna be. Very, very tough to bring down in this lane. I was thinking about counters to troll in the laning stage, and it uh, seems like Dragonite could be the one. There's like Timbersaw, who puts a lot of pressure on the troll. Other than that, troll pretty much always has a safe, safe uh, lane free farm. Bottom lane, trying to snipe the courier. The bill will probably get it one more oh, hit. There it is. Oh! Has been Take out that chain. So Jackie. You can see he's already looking for the phase one as well as the ra radiance. No shenanigans, no what he's going for. I love that. Also, I love one point in Mortal Strike. You have crit, guaranteed crit. Why not use it? And you life steal off that crit so you can trade much better in the lane. I'm just a big fan of that ability because I've seen people even putting two points in Wraith Fire Blast sometimes and three points in Vampiric Spirit, and then you don't even have it. So has that guaranteed crit. You can see uh, Yopaj starting to fall behind over mid. 19 and 6 to the 13 and 0. So obviously the matchup not exactly. You, you know, get the massive. levels. It's still very hard. You're playing into Dead Prophet. She just really loves to play into any kind of melee heroes. Right. Percentage based damage. Earth Spirit has a lot of strength gain. So this Spirit Siphon will be extremely powerful. He rolls in. That's that Fails. Self. Okay. Failing for now. 
We'll see if he can turn around the lane. But it, it's going to be a struggle. Like, he's starting to get almost close to doubled in CS. That's pretty rough for him. Great for Carl. That's for sure. Oh, even uses the glyph on a mid lane to be able to not to steal some creeps from Yopaj. And now we'll get the deny on both of the range creeps, which is pretty big. I'm getting pressured. Debio goes for this. Jaunt's on him. Looking for White Mon. Phase shift for a second fairy. A fire thunder dead. strike. Debio already used that phase shift, so he's just giving up a kill here to White Mon, who had a rough game last game, but starting this one off with first blood. I already praised him in game number one. His disruptor has been on point. The early game, his itemization, we could have seen in the first game, he pretty much won them the game with that Aghanim Scepter. Play card in a bit of a trouble, has uh, pressed the attack. Yeah, but he available. can't get through this kinetic field, and that could be the killing blow for him since he can't get through the Thunder Strike. White Mon, both kills for T1 so far. So. 1k lead already for T1. Pac was trying to make a move on a mid lane, help out Earth Spirit to come back into the game. Dead Prophet's already level 6, so it's uh, kind of hard. She has Magic Wand, Fairy Fire to work with. And Just it's what I've been really for. going well right now for Carl. I, I don't, I'm not really certain exactly what the answer is here for Neon so far. Their lanes aren't exactly going really well. I will say, though, Legion Commander and Troll, they're getting some decent CS. So they're at least farming all right. But as you look over to the net worth, man, you can see how far behind Yopaj is. 1,700 net worth at this point in the game. 700 gold behind the Death Prophet. Wraith King having an open time. He put harassment on play hard, Radiant opens up the lane. Tower. He's fine attack. with that. Bottle delivered to Carl soon. Yopaj gets the invis, but nice block. Yeah, roll hits onto the Death Prophet. Then he's glimpsed back. Yopaj ends up dead to White Mon, who's got his third kill on the game. Exorcism was used. They might just try to use this to uh, take out the tier one mid, or at least put a lot of damage on, as it's going to be very tough for Neon to defend it. T1's having a really good read uh, what rotations Neon is going to make. They know like Earth Spirit wants to pick up uh, possibly a rune. Uh, so they rotate one or two heroes to make pressure on the Death Prophet. Uh, very nice read and uh, this actually gave them uh, They're fighting one into it. There's the Magnetized. ulti from Earth Spirit. With Carl, well, getting away from Yopaj as he's stuck in the kinetic field, the exorcism, it's over. They reapply the magnetize, they'll look for the roll, and that will land. Should be able to get this kill on the Carl, and will Yopaj get some revenge? And finally, a but little bit what of a boost. Cost? Like Dragonite's free farm in top. You have Raid King farming the jungle and the lane at the same time. Yes, you got the Death Prophet, you lost the tower. So pretty big um, L for Neon there. Uh, it's silver linings at that point that they got that kill onto the Death Prophet, right? Yeah. Kuku's having a good time, that's what matters. They yeah. lack an initiation department, so they want him to have a blink dagger as soon as possible to be able to just start a fight on their own terms. And also Dragonite just hit level 6, so Troll doesn't feel that comfortable playing into this lane. A lot of tower damage coming up from T1. Dragonite, Skellies, Exorcism. Two K lead right now for T1. Three heroes sitting towards the top for them as well. You can see Jackie's backed off and he's going into this Radiance wall, and Atsumi's going into the Battle Fury. I wouldn't mind seeing. Hand of Midas on Raid King this time around because he's having a really good time. He's on top of that word. Uh, it's just going to help you out getting the levels. His talents are insanely good. It helps you out get to level 18 talent, uh, level 18 much faster. Work with that 40 second cooldown on ulti. You're really trying to work with that 40 second cooldown. Is this a game where maybe we see Troll, oh, we switch off the Battle Fury going into the Maelstrom? Do we see any sort of mana burn from him is he going no. thinking about like the fuse or is it just, just for nix assassin they have like... nix assassin eventually you buy a shard on raid king so you don't care too much about that either okay 
it's too much investment. It doesn't help you with clearing the waves. So Maelstrom, just a big fan of Maelstrom overall. Got buffed uh, in two patches before. Feels much better on certain heroes than the Battle Fury. You got Yopage up towards top. Well, they're going to spot Cuckoo. And they've got the kick, but Exorcism coming in from Carl. They're going to try and rotate in. They've got the dual used. They should be able to get the kill into the Dragon Knight. They'll get Cuckoo, lose Januel. Carl gets credit for that. They're chasing while he's using Exorcism. The Magnetize is on, but how far do you want to chase into this? They have some rotations coming in. Boulder Smash hits on a White Mon. That slows down this Disruptor, but it's not going to stop him from getting the glimpse off on a play hard. He uses the press of the attack and the overwhelming odds, but not enough to survive. They will get themselves a second. It ends up being a two-for-one trade in the favor of T1. D1 is just all over the place. Like, these trades are not very good for Neon. Uh, they have uh, Exorcism still running. Dragonite ulti is available. He pops it straight away. He does not want Natsumi to get uh, any kind of farm. He shows on the lane, instant dragon form, uh, attacks him once, and then uh, he's just gone from the lane. Jackie already 2,000 gold towards his Radiance. Wow. Jack is going to be the king of this game. It's, it's definitely seems like it. He's top of the net worth. A gift from the tempest of battle. And that's always a good sign when you're looking for that big build on the Radiance, right? When you're, you've not been disrupted, you've really been able to secure your farm. Like, it's just going to allow you to get the Radiance even quicker. Royal Jelly now for Neon. Is under attack. As well as an Arcane Ring. You've got the Tome of Knowledge for the Nyx Assassin, which should give him level 6. We'll see how they work with that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Nyx Assassin already pinged out as missing from White Mon, who's sitting just ahead of the Nyx Assassin in net worth. Phoenix well ahead of Debeel. Look at the tier one up towards top. So now both the tier one's top and Dyer's mid are gone. That's going to open up the jungle and closing Their down where the map is for troll. It's almost full HP. There's Cuckoo already there, ready to defend. Breathe the fire, level four. Looks like they want to go top, though. Could be a fight 3v2. Yeah, this spell was called Breath of Fire before. Now it's called Breathe Fire. Dream Coil used on to Carl. They've got the stun coming in, as well as that Vendetta shot. And that's the kick outside of the Dream Coil, but they can't get the kill on Carl. The Spirit's safe and keep him alive. They've got the Static Storm as well as the Thunder Strike on Jean Noel. They should be able to get the kill on the third strike on that. They'll reapply the Magnetize. They'll go after White Mon. Hit the roll on to Carl. They get White Mon. They should get Carl. Magnetize reapplied once again with the Geomagnetic Grip that silences up Carl for a second. He's so low and finally takes out as the Waning Rift comes in from Debeel. Good kill. They managed to kill that Prophet uh, twice already, slowing her down a bit. I wouldn't mind seeing a casual cloak on a Dead Prophet this game because there's a lot of early magical damage coming up from the Earth Spirit. That, that's mid Earth Spirit. Uh, he's going to Blade Mail first item. Interesting. There is uncontrollable damage. If you want to call it that way, Dead Prophet Exorcism, Radiance from the Raid King once he gets that up. Uh, fiery Spirits like Sunray, you do not want to stop, so he wants to be in their face with that Blade Mail. Yeah, he'll try to use that Blade Mail as effectively as possible. A lot of things, even the Static Storm, you know, if you get caught in that. We'll have to see. Troll, meanwhile believe that's Should Maelstrom have that done. Maelstrom coming out, right? Yeah. Javelin and Aquarity. So he's got the Maelstrom. He's sitting about a level behind this Wraith King. Cuckoo goes into the Elder Dragon form. They've got the Spike Carapace. That'll stun up Cuckoo for a second, but the Dragon Tail as well as the Sunray that's right on John Duel gets kicked by Yopage into a safer area, but they've got the Glimpse on a play hard once again. So they're looking to lock down this Legion. Oh, three-man oh, stun! Roll. And the roll with the Magnetize. There's the duel. What a turnaround. Static Storm is out, but it's not going to be there with the Kinetic Field. So they're not locked in it. But Jackie comes over. The Spike Carapace popped again. That's going to stun up the Dragon Knight a second time. The Wraith Fire Blast thrown over to Januel. Cuckoo and Jackie have to retreat. But you've got long reach here for Neon. They just won't use it yet. That was that a was... three-man stun from the Nyx, followed up by the roll. And then roll onto two people. Uh, slow. Uh, let's see that one again. Whoop. One, two, three. And the roll comes in. Magnetized geomagnetic grip. That slows down the static storm from coming in. Really well done. Good execution. You, you can see Raid King rotating there. Even though he does not have a Radiance, something that's not very common. 
he feels he needed like to contribute something but once he gets that radiance up once that prophet hits level 12 ghosts go from 8 to 16 once again so that's um, a lot of damage a lot of overtime damage something that neon's gonna struggle i feel neon in this game they need to make the first initiation they need to be the one who are making the moves possibly sniping out one hero before and you could feel in the previous fight because nyx assassin used vendetta on a dragonite break mechanic is not there anymore so huge nerf to this hero how much would they feel even more confident if they were able to grab that break with the uh vendetta a nerf coming in hard blade mail now for the legion Blade Mail going to be finished for the Earth Spirit. I was talking about the casual cloak. Dragonite has one. Like this is something that's. Um, Other three men stuff. Once again, man, John Will. It's like he's playing a Tide Hunter. <laughs> I know he does talk about his hate for Kunkka. Coming in with a little ravage of his own. They're on the high ground, T1. They'll spot not too. They've got the Static Storm as well as the Sunray right on top of him. Press the attack, trying to keep it alive, but it's not looking likely. He burns out. They're fighting into the Exorcism. Playhard uh, steps up out of the high ground. Yopaj rolls out of the high ground. And now they've got the Supernova right on top of him. They've stunned him up with a Dragon Tail. All three die. White Lung falls to Genuel. Question is, can he retreat in time? They've got the Yules, Icarus time, and a silence on him. That's not likely. Four heroes dead on Neon, taking a very ill-advised fight. Great move from T1. They went to high ground first. Uh, Rune is spawning. Uh, they were ready with the Static Storm. We will see that one again. And Legion Commander, like, press the attack is not enough. And then they just decide to run in inside a Static Storm, get some extra damage. Nicely done by T1. Radiance done on Raid King. Blink, Aghanim, Blink and uh, Aghanim Shard queued up after that. Does not want to deal with uh, any kind of mana burn. Better save. Better be safe than sorry. Good coil used bottom. That's onto the Phoenix. Trying to catch him within the trees. They've got the duel. Should have dual damage. They will. We've seen this before. Like the build. I talk a lot about the itemization. The correct one. Phoenix going straight into BKB. I love that. He's playing into Nyx Assassin. So whenever you use Sunray, Nyx will just uh, stop you from using that. So BKB will help you with that. 5k lead here for T1. They do finally take that tier 1 tower bottom. Jackie, like you said, working with Radiance, going to the Blink Shard, while Natsumi going BKB Basher. BKB is must have if you get attack. like Maelstrom, you still want to be able to fight with the team. Basher, even possibly like a full Abyssal Blade, because what they need to do is just burst that Prophet. There's no real save, there's a Sunray, but they still have enough damage to actually burst the Death Prophet straight away. They also have a duel, something that goes through magic, community, Legion Commander not close. To the bling dagger needs a thousand gold away. That's a second blade mail on top of Earth Spirit. So, yeah, dealing with uh, uncontrollable damage. I want to see how much they can do with those two blade mails because blade mail doesn't make you more tanky. You just get armor. That's it. That's not like. But if you misuse it, it's a very tricky item. A lot of investment. You misuse it, Down. and you don't feel tanky at all. No. And it doesn't really make you that much stronger overall once it's already used. Smoke out from Neon. Smoke's going to break. Both teams are using smoke. They've got the Dream Coil out on to this Death Prophet. Looking for the Spike Carapace, but that doesn't stop the Sunray. Supernova Static Storm coming in all on top of these heroes on the side of Neon. They get the kill on the play hard. Again, he's just not having a fun time in this game. Supernova goes off. They'll try to retreat on Neon, only losing the Legion Commander thus far. Not soon with the TP out. Januel. He be as lucky. Ooh, glimpse on the roll. Yopaj caught. Not sure he has a way out of this one. Sunray on top. Yeah, Carl now dominating. 7k lead for the side of T1. There's also exorcism available straight into Roche Pit. Uh, T1, uh, they're in full control of this game. Deville on top. Just checking what's happening inside the pit. Whiteman already responding. They need to be very careful. One glimpse and the uh, puck is dead. 
doesn't look like they're going to make a move to even try and swipe this Aegis. They're just going to let it go. No real answers there. And it's not too many. Like I said, he's going to the BKB and he's only 600 gold away. I'm not sure why they decided to give this Aegis to Jackie. He still feels almost unkillable. Two lives. I would prefer if they put it on a Dead Prophet instead. And now this Tricor of T1. They, they're super tanky. That Prophet getting closer to her BKB. You have Dragonite as the offlaner, so you know that this hero is going to scale. Good frontline provides vision for possible glimpses. There's the glimpse. Look over. Legion Commander caught again. Play hard going down. They've got the Static Storm, and well, this is really bad for you. Posh kick, roll away. There's a lot of damage being done here to the Radiant Dyer's side on the supports. But, well, you can't follow this up, and well, Still not looking good for Neon. Many Another good pick off. You can see that this blade melt doesn't make you more tanky. Disruptor lost like 300 HP from those blade melts, but not. He he doesn't care too much about the uh, no receive. Another smoke. His combo. Elder Dragon form is pop. They've got the stun on the cuckoo. The damage is there pretty quickly. The supernova gets used. Do they have the ability to kill this? They might. The right quick start coming in, the silences are out, but it's not enough to stop them from blowing up the egg. They get the kill on a two, and now they look for the rest. White Mon on the run, Crypt Swarm there, but the roll out from Yo Page. Over the Thunder Strike, Jackie TP's in, but press the attack comes out as the Wraith Fire Blast is thrown at the direction of this Earth Spirit. Yo Page, silence, can't roll away, and he's just right clicked down by Jackie. Troll will pop his BKB. Oh, going for more. To DP out. Genuel, Spike Carapace, two Another glimpse stun. is ready. If they can catch Blakehard, possibly, they're just gonna go for the safe kill. Yeah. I love how T1 is taking the fight, even though they're outnumbered. They lost to two heroes. They're still chasing. Yeah, they want this Legion Commander who has stayed a little bit too close. Right click's coming in. There's another Wraith Fire Blast for you and a Crypt Swarm. Mega kill streak here for the Death Prophet, 6, 2, and 7. Play hard dead for the sixth time. Rock one for him. He didn't farm any gold in the last like, five minutes. He's still 700 away from a Blink Dagger. Because Raid King has that Aegis, doesn't need to care about uh, Mana Burn. So instead of going for a Shard, he gets Sanj first, which I really like. Picking up Aegis changes your item build most of the time. Right. Because you know you have that extra life. And that one doesn't rely on Radiant your man. Get this 2 1 over bottom. Genuine is nearby. See if he can get anything going, but it's well, not Sumi's top taking the tier 1 of his own. They're going to glyph the tier 2. Does not Sumi TP back? No, he's not going to be able to do so. Cuckoo's TP'd over here while bottom. Ooh, they've got themselves the Static Storm. That's out onto this Wraith King. They get the Aegis out of his hands. Now they got to look to kill him again. No man again. So he will get another reincarnation. They just Dual damage? Him. Yeah, they've got it. Team is just, you know, you're in a tough spot. You gotta die three times. Wow. That's big. When we talk about like Radiance against Nyx Assassin, this is why Nyx is so good. He was trying to TP out, Carapace, set things up perfectly. Uh, good, to, very nicely done by uh, John Will just being there, possibly backstabbing. They have that anti-Tinker Ward they placed uh, for themselves to see if they're hiding inside the trees, which gave them vision of the enemy team. Uh, nicely done. Yeah, really nicely done. This is giving an opportunity to Natsumi to really recover. He's only a thousand gold now behind this Wraith King. The rest of the team does need to recover. You've got Playhard, who's very far behind this DK. And then, of course, you just look at the difference between Yopaj and Carl, and it's a lot. But Yopaj, we'll see how effective he can be. You can definitely feel when he's able to get some spells off here. There's a lot going on, and, and, and Neon kind of come out looking all right. He's going into the BKB after this Blade Mail. So he's still 1,100 gold away from that. They have ways to deal with that profit. Spirit Vessel is there. Problem is you need to wait for BKB. There's also another way to dispel things. Fuel Scepter, it's good against Raid King, uh, great against Sunray. Uh, Dragonite on top of that, but Dragonite's getting close to his BKB. 
Januel just stealing some experience. And nobody here with him to make anything happen. At least not for the moment, but they are rotating in. They should be ready to go on this, play hard. He does have the Blink Dagger, Blade Mail Pop going after the DK, but there's White Mom with the Static Storm. I think they still have the damage. They do just in time. Exorcism gets popped. They've got the Silence on of the Legion Commander. Yule's up into the air. The damage coming out onto the Nyx Assassin. They'll get the Kona Januel. They'll look over at Playhard, who's still running from this Exorcism. Press the attack. Overwhelming odds. Not going to be enough to get him out of the hands of this Death Prophet. They do get dual damage now at 70. It's a decent amount of dual damage. It is, but every single time, pretty much, he uses a dual he dies afterwards. So yeah. His item progression is really not there. Like, this is more 17, 18 minute items on your Legion Commander. Let's see. Let's see, you go BKB next. So, yeah, BKBs will be coming out in droves for the Neon side. KB still queued up for the Wraith King. He's got that Sanj. Does he have anything good? Yeah, there's the Asha. So Sanj and Yasha coming out for him. We'll see if he goes Shard first or BKB. Not sure. You, you need to you, get a Shard. Yeah. You definitely. Because Mana Burn is right now level 2. You're going to put more points in it. It's such a good scaling ability. I'm surprised that he didn't skip one or two points and impale and just max out mana burn instead. He's playing into, like, you get one mana burn on Dragonite, his mana pool is gone. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, Wraith King only working with 711 mana. They have smoked up. He's turned off the Radiance. He doesn't want to get caught by another Spike Carapace. As Vendetta does end, there's 25 seconds until he's got that available once again. As Playhard is towards top, They'll blink, they'll look, they're spotted, and play hard, just TP's play way off the hard, blink. Play hard, juke hard. Working towards his BKB, buys an Ogre Axe. Still a long time until he gets that. The bill is getting a lot of farm on the map. Like, he's uh, devording, he's split pushing, uh, causing a lot of issues for T1 to deal with them, with just uh, out pushing the lanes. Doesn't even have a blink dagger, going straight into the Aghanim Scepter. So that's gonna keep them in place. Their BKBs are not gonna be great against that one. Look at this again. Look at where he's setting up. Nyx Assassin looking for this one more time. They've also bottled up a double damage on the troll. So they wanna come in, they wanna make something happen potentially. They take the tier two tower, they go for the outpost. The duel is used, but these heroes are gonna come over very quickly. I don't know if Playhard wants to go for this. The static storm comes in with the Yopaj roll. Magnetized down, silence out onto the Wraith King, but Yopaj gets the roll off. They get the Kona Whitemon. They're gonna lose effort. They're two heroes down on the side of T1. They're gonna buy back on the Phoenix. They'll look over at Cuckoo, who's hit with Magnetized, and the Dream Coil comes out of the bolt. They'll roll in once again. BKB's been popped by Cuckoo. Not to be coming in. Is he gonna pop that double damage? He does, but now he's gotta run over. He's getting burned out really hard by this Sunray. Goes into the trees. They've gotten the vision on the high ground thanks to that Cliff War. But now Natsumi pops the BKB. They've got the exorcism. The damage! Exorcism was used! He didn't and get oh, Battle oh, Trance. Oh. That's it coming through. Karo trying to get the kill. The Sunray on to both these heroes. Yopaj has the phone. So does Januel. And it's just this troll who tried to fight against the world and can't win. Oh, man. That was such a clutch play. I love what Neon did. They were hiding in the trees. They have high ground vision. Once again, with that anti-thinker ward. Um, almost managed to blow up that prophet. It was very close. Could have been a different fight. I think both of the heroes, Nyx Assassin and Ender Spirit would live there, but the Sunray and two Spirit Siphons actually keeping uh, that Prophet alive. Now Jackie hitting some uh, tier threes. Carl pops the Yules and then Troll forced over to the Wraith King. That just ends up being unfortunate for Neon. Good buyback from Zephyr. He got initiated on, blew up uh, instantly, didn't use any of his abilities, didn't use a BKB. Now, tier 3 tower is gone. They are also controlling the outpost. This is definitely showing that Neon have a chance. Like, even though they're down by so much, you can see the damage output they have. What they need to do is blow up Phoenix, blow up that Prophet, and then deal with the rest. You can see how close that was. Yeah. Possibly dual that Prophet, keep her in place so she can't use uh, 
the BKB, can't use the Yule Scepter. Now it's going to be much harder because there is a Lincoln Sphere, so someone needs to proc it. They don't have the best... They're actu they actually don't have abilities that can proc it besides Nyx Assassin. Oh, look at Cuckoo's positioning. That's perfect. Debeel just walking forward. Phase shift, silence, misses. Blink back from Cuckoo, but Jackie... Now will he play this? He blinks towards the creep wave. They've got the glimpse as well as the static storm, but there's the phase shift to avoid being pulled. Debeel, nicely done. Spike Carapus was used on a three-second cooldown. They're trying to go for Roche. Jackie setting up with Carl in an interesting spot. They're going to blink into the Roche pit against Spike Carapus, but I don't think hit that Radiance. Now Jackie would love to have his BKB before the next fight, just 100 gold away. Breathe fire. Apologies, my math is incorrect. Face shift again, Debeel trying to find the proper positioning. They're going to roll in. They've got the Dream Coil. They're going to kick Cuckoo out of the Dream Coil. They've got the damage under the Dragon Knight. They'll get the kill. The 54 seconds without buyback. They're going to get the kill on a play hard. They look over with BKB behind and Natsumi looking over. Yules up into the air, but the roll comes out from Yopaj. Sunray burning down. Silence That's onto the first troll. Life. Not in and the they first will life. get the kill. They can't get the first life out of the hands of this Wraith King, like you said. And Debeel will fall. Roche is there. Oh, God. I love when this happens. Wraith King just, you know, very close to dying. Uh, Smacks him, there's a critical strike, four second cooldown, then smacks another guy. He also has a Cloak of Flame, so that's even more overtime damage on top of the Radiance. This looks so good, the setup there, getting an immediate kill on a Cuckoo. They come over, but they're fighting into the Supernova. And that's going to go off. While Troll is Yules up into the air, they've got the stun. Oh god, just staying alive. It wouldn't matter. He still had the ulti. They did not burn his mana. So it doesn't matter. His ulti would still be up at this point. Uh, double damage. On the Raid King, I believe that's also Shard picked up by a Disruptor. So you can use Thunder Strike on your allies. Axe picked up by Debeel. This is a pretty big item again. There's a. Uh... Yeah, some yelling happening outside. It is black, making a lot of noise. Uh, he's very happy. You know, Gosh, do you know that he, he loves D1. Caster should not be biased, but you know, black, black's black. Can't really blame him. So AC being built for the Wraith King, who now has that BKB. But of course, Debeel has the Ags. However, he is dead. So Ags is not effective can't when you're dead. Can't use Aghanims if you're dead. Unless you're Vengeful Spirit, Dyer's then you can. Tower. You want to die attack. with that hero? It's actually such a stupid concept that wants you to die. John well, oh. do they have Glimpse? Dyer's bottom tower is under it's close. Attack. But it, it keeps this tier 2 alive for a little bit longer. Her spirit going Octarine, Abyssal picked up. That could have been a difference maker. If they had that before the last fight... It could have been enough, but now you're fighting into three lines. So, may not be as easy. Although I say that, Wraith King still doesn't have the shard. Has that Aegis once again. He can burn his mana, he has a BKB. He's also keeping that BKB in the backpack. He wants to save it for second life. Third life, possibly. Yeah. Exorcism used. They're going to go out of the high ground here. Smoke behind them, blink in, Dragon Tail, Spike Carapace, they've got the stun on the Cuckoo, Sun Rain. Pick a tier 3 tower, pop the Lincolns. Big fire Blast coming in, Carl moving forward, they've got the Glimpse out of play hard, but now the Abyss Blade is going to be used out onto the Death Prophet, that's into the Static Storm, they've got the Battle Trance off, but it's into the Supernova once again, it's going to be a bad fight for Neon if they continue to fight into it, and yeah, Sumi, he's in trouble, Supernova goes off, that hits on Yopaj, who rolls into the wrong time. Natsumi stay. They get that kill on Natsumi, he's dead for 75 seconds, they're trying to get the kill on the Wraith King, but they lose Yopaj as well, they don't have buyback on either of those heroes, they pop back on play hard. Jackie still holding on to every single life in his hands. This and might be it. This might be the win for T1. Loses that there first is life. Not enough damage. Cuckoo. Oh, in the air. Oh, he ends up dead. But still, rest of the team very healthy. Uh, no Aegis on Wraith King. Uh, Dead Prophet also used the cheese. Silence. Holy locket Next. on Phoenix. That's a lot of healing from that Sunray. By the way, Puck's fighting White Mon. Oh, can he kill him? Spirit Vessel, Waning Rift. That was a little interesting That was close. Move. That, that was very close. But uh, they're going to lose the mid barracks. Probably there is still a glyph available. Still some hope. 
They have pushed oh, them off the high ground. That. Okay, they're respecting the glyph. Troll up in 12, Yopage up in 3. He's going to try and get the uh, level 20. Try to get that talent. Troll, meanwhile, looking for the Satanic. Every time he's used that Battle Trance, it's, it seems like it's into a Supernova. It's very hard because they can't really deal with the egg right now. You can't just go with troll. You need to deal with the rest. Same goes for Legion Commander. Yes, press the attack. Very good attack speed against that supernova. But if it's placed well, you can't just bypass the other heroes. Yeah. Ooh, Psychic Headband. When That's a good one. You can break the coil. Just push them out and break Ag's coil, which is pretty nice. Yeah, does the Bill hold that or does Yopaj hold You give it that? to the Bill. Yeah, there he goes. That is an Ag's coil. So, you know, you push him out, BKB or not, you're getting stunned. You're getting locked out. DNC Boom watching this game closely because there's a lot on the line. If D1 wins, you know, they, they're not going to like that. Yeah, they're, they're putting their hands up trying to give the energy over to Neon, who look like they're on the cusp of being up against Mega Creeps. This is really tough for them. They just have one set of racks left and Exorcism still going. They want to make a move in. They're actually on the back lines. They're for the duel with the Static Storm coming through, but can they get the kill into the Phoenix? They don't know the damage. Play hard. He's blown up. Supernova goes off. Yopaj already in deep, but he's going to die. They'll get the kill to play hard as well as Yopaj. They want the egg. It costs them through. They buy back the Battle Trance is Yules, used, Yules, Yules up into the Evans air. Halbert. Yeah. He's just No dead. chance. And GG is called. Neon will drop the game. T1 take the series. And with that, a lot of hopes on other teams are gone. A very, very well played game three for T1 to give them the victory on the series. Yeah, great execution from T1. Uh